Yo, what is up guys? Welcome back to Millionaire Gaming. So today we're playing some more session for the PC. And in the last video, we actually just got to California. And now we're here. And now, uh, unfortunately, I will say my, my poor board, it, it broke when I was playing off camera. And so, uh, yeah, they implemented breaking your board if you go off of a high drop. So I think before we get, you know, to the video, I think we're going to have to go get a new board because... This plain one is kind of depressing. So I'm thinking we get a, uh, a new board. Let's see what we've got. I've been feeling um, a Santa Cruz deck today. Because uh, we had one. Um, I think we had a heroin board last time. But uh, yeah, so where is... There we are. Yeah, this is the perfect one right here. We'll get that and gonna, you know, s spice it up with some grip tape. I think, because I like colorful grip, so I'm probably going to go for something cool. I'll, I'll go, hmm, let's see. Let's try this this time. It's kind of kind of cool, kind of a cool mix. All right, cool. Now that we got our board, let's uh, head to the spot where it's from Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4. Uh, if you guys remember in Tony Hawk's Pro Skater 4, this was a, um, a competition area that they had and I thought it was really cool to you know see that but they didn't really like talk about it too much and I think we we're talking to Jameer if I'm correct or someone else okay it's Louis Barletta alright so let's see what Louis Barletta needs Ah, uh, stupid controller. Perfect timing. Heard you were coming to the bay, so I got some. Uh, I got on my Vespa, hit the hyperspace button, made the engine explode, called your mom, and we got here at the same time. What? I'm just kidding about your mom. I'm sure she's a nice lady who would love to give strangers rides. Bro, what? <laughs> Welcome to EMB, one of the. Oh my god. Epic Center, or I, I guess that's how you would say, Epic Center of skating, uh, street skating. Between here and Love Park, almost everything was invented. I feel like that creative energy is still around. The bay is a reminder to just keep trying new things, to try old things new ways. That's where the fun is, just exploring how skating can look and feel when you just goof around because what else is there to do for no reason at all I just filmed the line here and I went as fast as I could and I did a 10 10 reverts on the ground in a row every part needs a good what the hell was that clip the bricks are really easy to slide on you got reverts right just double tap on those I think going back to the basics add a little fun do a line with a random reverb people will go why didn't they do pop 180 because really nothing matters if uh, we're being honest so it says we have to grind the ledge I'm not sure if it's like one of those ones that you have to uh, you know stop I, I think it's oh hi my cat decided to say hello I don't know sometimes he, he does like to uh, you know be a part of my videos but sometimes I'm just kind of like I don't know sometimes it's a, it's like I love him to death but he's kind of annoying sometimes like especially cuz like he'll definitely try to mess up like the recording like he actually messed up some of the uh, older recordings back when I was um, doing like mainly console stuff like I said he, he's a good boy oh all right and it says we have to grind a ledge. I'm not gonna, you know, try to break that uh that thing right there. All right. And we gotta talk to him and gap the Gons gap. So Mark Gonzalez, nice. I do like one of the boards that he has on like skate two. I in skate. That, I missed that board. It's crazy the Gons gap over there got kickflip before I was alive. Well, before way before. It happened but I feel I didn't feel truly alive until I got my first trampoline the gap 
the gap's a lot longer than it looks. If you want a clear uh, in a tip clearing something, you can always bone your board forward a little more. Just push both feet before afterwards you pop. All right, so let's see, where is the Gon's gap? Okay, so it's this massive thing, this massive, uh, so, uh, let's see if we can actually get up here. I think now we gotta try to figure out a way just to get up and go from there. Should be kind of easy, I guess, if you realize it. It's not like Skate 3 where you can, you know, do that really high jump, but it's still kind of cool. Alright, let's see, if it's... If it's this way, I'm gonna have to get a lot of fucking, like, speed. Let's see. Okay. Hell yeah. A new shop opened around the corner from here. You should pay them a visit and they add a mini ramp in the back so you could hang out when you get kicked out of here. If you see me around the city, Feel free to join my session, the more the merrier. Alright, we got 50 bucks and 50 experience points required. Uh, Alright, so it says San Francisco shop. So go to FSC, go to the talk to the shop owner, go to the mini ramp, over the coping and grind the coping. So I will say the mini ramp in there is actually kind of cool. Like I said, I, I kind of do play it off like camera and stuff. But I will say, probably the next video of the series, like, not, like, storyline mode, I'd, I'd probably have to say that the side missions are probably what we're gonna try to, you know, focus on. It'd be kind of cool to see, though. Like, I know there's, there's still other, like, achievements and challenges that we have to do. Alright, let's see. The store owner is right here. Let's see what she says. Welcome. Wait. Didn't I see you in the newest mag announcements? New am in town? Hell yeah, welcome to F to SF. If you need anything in the shop by any time, or just come to chill when you got, we got a little mini in the back. All right, so yeah, that's the mini ramp. It's been a minute. Good to see you stepping out of your comfort zone and traveling a little. I usually stop by here every morning. Nothing hits like a cup of coffee donuts with a mini ramp at the sun up the sun up I love a good mini to help get the, in the rhythm for the day I feel like if you land enough back to back on a mini you can carry that rhythm to whatever else you need to do that day you ever get the hang of these yet let's just see what you've got no pressure there's this ain't cheese and crackers too just flow a little and warm up quick I find it kind of cool to see these little like pro like videos like them just skating and stuff all right let's let's see what we could do in this mini I'm not really good at transitional skating so uh, you know please bear with me um, unfortunately I uh, I'm not really good like I'm, I'm pretty mediocre if anything I do like, uh, like some of these, uh, like, I, I don't know, something about the, like, the waving. It reminds me of, like, Sean White skateboarding, oddly enough. I don't know if that's a good thing, because I'm not a fan of Sean White skateboarding. <laughs> Let's see. It says we have to grind the coping, and I'm, I'm gonna not, gonna lie, I'm gonna suck at this. Oh my god, they didn't even account that. Oh my god. Uh, the way the way he just casually just dies at that is just it's rough. I don't know how do you I can't remember how you do um you know like because it, it's mostly just like it seems uh, just board slides or lip slides and stuff. I do wish they did implement uh, drop-ins better. Like that would have been pretty nice. That or a rock to fakey. If I, if I knew how to do that on this game, I'd pre be pretty nice. Oh my goodness. <laughs> like I said, I'm, I'm not good at the... Oh my, what the... His leg. 
his leg though. All right, let me let me get in back in like actual decent position. How do how the fuck do we do this? Sorry, I'm trying to do like. Yeah. Unfortunately, that's, you know, a, a, a cheat, but it works, I guess. The city brings back a lot of memories. There was some tennis courts not far from here. I used to, uh, I used to live lines on for days on those benches. Check across the street if you want to see how much time you can waste on those benches. Have fun. Alright. Alright, tennis, tennis court sesh. So, so we gotta talk to Samara, Samaria. See, some of these names I can't per, like pronounce for the life of me. But, you know, I'll, I'll get there eventually. Alright, here they are. Damn it. Day one knew about this spot the whole time and didn't tell me? I just randomly found it when I tried to take a photo of a butterfly, I mean a dragonfly. Cool. Cool to meet you. By the way, Louie was just mentioning you yesterday. Hey, you want to break these benches with in with me? I love spots with for ugh. I love spots with lines for days. People can film crazy single tricks. They can plan cool two pieces it but an endless line that is all improv and improvised is raw as hell. Lines where people just keep going and videos feel more personal. You get to see them outside the box of a single trick and more of just their flow. These benches look like they're they run for a block a block long with tennis nets too. What do you want to run them? One on them. I'm not gonna lie, that bat lake back foot, that was pretty nice. See, I like I said, I'm not really the greatest at um, certain things on this game, but I try my best. But I will say, mo the most difficult challenge besides one anti-ferg mission, I would have to say, is the, the meetup in New York. That one was probably my most, like, difficult. Alright, trick over to tennis net again. Which, uh, which one? Oh, okay. Okay, so they actually do want you to do, a, like, an actual trick on them, should... Let's see what we could do with our terrible skills. Fuck! Ah! That's one I. Ah, I hate that. I hate that shit so much. It's like you gotta get enough speed to do it, and you don't wanna screw up. Uh. This game does have, like, some kind of... Hmm.
Oh my god, I just realized that's how they do it. So you can't copy the same trick. That's that's why I couldn't get it. <sighs> oh no, I, I would have cried if I actually fell right there, because that is that is fucking horrendous. This challenge is actually something else. I, I did not actually expect like to be actually challenging. So, um, you know, I give this challenge, uh, you know, credit where credit is due. Like I said, I thought, you know, the anti furk mission was actually difficult, but, uh, this actually takes the cake. Oh my god. Hell yeah. You made that whole line look fun, too. Hell yeah. If you want, there's a handful of other endless locations around here if you're interested. You ever see seven, uh, seen se Pier 7 in person? That's across the street. You should check it out. I'm gonna check behind the ferry building for more marathon benches. My god, that actually took a lot longer than I really hoped for. So, Pier 7 Manny Pads. It says, talk to Donovan Flippin. Oh my god. This is, this is one of those challenges that I feel like I'm not going to enjoy. Like, uh, man flipping manuals and stuff like that, they're cool and all, but it's the the FS and the BS kind of stuff that always gets me. Because, like, I, I know some, like, stuff like that. It's like, yeah, that's a front side flip, uh, front side, but, yeah, I'm, I'm gonna screw up very, very hard on this one, and I'm not looking forward to it. That's why I always go for like the weird shaped decks, because at least then I can actually know what uh, what size or I mean, what side it is, you know, BS or you know FS, which you know is very you know beneficial in its own kind of way. It's funny, actually, a person in real life I know has the same board that I have on the game, so it's kind of cool to see. Alright, here we are. Maybe my favorite spot of all time. I used to visit Pier 7 every summer as a kid. My parents would drop me off when I was 11 and leave me for the entire day. Listen, the 90s were wild. No one cared about their kids, but I'm glad they didn't. There's been many attempts to skate these pads, even wood planks across them uh, on top of them not long ago. So I take the chance to skate this holy land while you can. What people don't know until they get here is the runway is about one push one push long. So you get speed to skate any pad you need to come in sideways at the curve the last minute. Try a classic flip in flip out feel to get the curving into the spot. All right, here we are. Let's see. So this is this is the spot. This is the legendary. Uh, I feel like we probably do it. I, I mean, I, I, I feel like. I mean, I may fuck up a few times, but you know, eventually I'll, I'll probably get it. What the hell? What the? Alright, there we go. Curve, uh, sorry. <clears throat> Carving into make into it makes natural with a, uh, with, I want to, a 180 into the manual since you go, since you pop, try flowing with the curve and throwing a 180 trick down something. Okay, so, ah, uh, fuck. Alright, so we have to... So now we have to get a front side flip 180 or like, uh, I hate these things so much. Oh my God. These, it's the pedestrians that are getting to me right here. And plus it's the, the, the FS part. I'll figure it out.
That was weird. I actually didn't expect that. Um, I'm gonna skate a couple blocks over to Chinatown. You should roll through. I think you'd like the banks there. If you can't find it, just hop on the bus that rolls up the street. I see Tori down at EMB getting clips. Or maybe that's a photographer? Looks like a new spot the city built. You should check that out. Alright, we got a hundred bucks, more XP. That's cool. Alright, meet up with Tori. Oh, fuck. So, it, this seems more uh, technical than I'd like to admit. Backside 360. God. So, the, un the unfortunate thing that I, I don't like about like that kind of stuff is... A certain... Certain things are just rough. I, I, I like I don't know how to do a switch flip Wait, like that's a nollie heel, so I'd have to go into switch stance Well, that's a switch. Yeah Ugh. It's, it's just gonna be a rough one. This is gonna be a doozy of a day. I Don't want to say I want to do that one off camera, but it'd probably be my best bet on that Because it seems like this one's going to be a very sucky one. There he is. There's the man. There's Tori. And, uh, it's getting kind of dark on the game. Hmm. I think I'll probably change that one second. There we go. That's a little bit better. But I think I'll, I'll call it for a video right now. Because I don't want to, you know screw up but i feel like i'll probably do this one off camera because this challenge is going to kill me so with that i am the shit you've been watching millionaire gaming and i'll see you guys in the next video peace out